Alright you guys, so today I'm going to give you an overview of the Zosi camera motion detection for the security camera that's built into the DVR. So basically what it does is uh, you can have notifications sent to you by email, by phone, or your DVR will just make a beeping noise whenever motion is detected. So for instance right here, I have it set on camera number three, or channel three and I have it set to alarm out, that comes to the app, a buzzer for the DVR, and along with the email, I'm gonna turn that off because I don't want my email to get blown up currently right now. You can also choose all these different like pixels. So for instance, I could, you know, knock off that section right there and say, hey, when a car goes by right there, you know, don't go off. Um, overall, though, I'm not gonna recommend any of this uh, alarming feature. This particular portion of uh, my field of view works better, works the best, I'm gonna say, not better. Um, I have the sensitivity currently at six, which is pretty high. Um, the reason I'm gonna say that this one works better is because there's a lot more concrete. Okay, so the problem with uh, these motion detection systems is the DVR goes off with, uh, you know, like a change in the view. I'm actually really surprised that this is not going off from that right there, or that bug. Usually bugs will set this thing off when a bug flies by. In fact, I could probably turn the sensitivity up and it will probably go off. In fact, this is a test feature. No motion detected currently. Um, so this one is, is the better working out of all of mine. Um, I will uh, show you guys kind of a, a rundown of how it works though. So I'm gonna go walk out in front of that camera and go back to six. Or it'll default because I haven't saved it. So I'm gonna go back to six, which is, I don't know why I said six. That was the sensitivity. But uh, channel three, that's where that is. I'm gonna walk out in front of it. And you're gonna hear my DVR beep. And there she is, she's beeping now. And you can't see it, but my phone just got a notification. Uh, Personally, I really recommend uh, motion sensitivity setup for somewhere where you know there's no movement. Um, I'm gonna show you the problems with it. Uh, so I have four channels here. I have my driveway, this view right here. Now, you guys can clearly see the problems. If you're patriotic like me and you have a flag, Unfortunately, it moves around. Now, you could block that out, but I have a lot of trees around, you know. So, suppose I blocked out that flag, that palm tree, and that palm tree. I'm blocking out the most important part. You know, that's windows and doors. Um, so, motion, motion detection won't really work for me there. Um, this one right here has a lot of road view. Uh, but still, with this being so much grass, unfortunately, it catches a lot of movement from the wind blowing the grass. Um, but uh, personally, I think that uh, motion detection should only be used for uh, like a front door, something that's pointed directly down or interior stuff. Um, other than that, I have not had the best luck with motion detection. Um, so in that case, if you want something that will really have good motion detection, I recommend a, spot, a motion detection spotlight. Something like that. Honestly, it'd probably do you a lot better good than cameras anyway. But um, this could just be because of, you know, these are cheaper cameras um, and a cheaper DVR system. But overall, it's great for uh, recording and it's iffy on motion detection. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm still learning this system. Uh, just leave a comment, like this page, and uh, I can tell you anything that I've, I know about it so far. So feel free to let me know. Thanks.